Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the drag gesture, which is a really cool gesture that you can use in your apps to create some interactivity and just some cool overall <clears throat> effects. So if that is something you want to know how to do, then keep on watching and we'll be taking a look at the drag effect right now. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new Xcode project. I'm going to make this one an app and call it view drag. Click next and save it someplace. Great, so here is our preview. And what we're going to do is we're going to decide on a view or create a view. And then we're going to add the functionality so that we can drag the view around and perhaps place it in random places. So we could, we could use what's already there, but I'm going to make it a bit more fancy and actually remove this. And I'm going to create another view that's simply going to be a rounded rectangle. And I'm going to decide on the corner radius and I'm going to set that to 25 for now. And I'm also going to add a foreground color and I'm going to, or foreground style, which I'm going to set to blue. Then I will also give it a frame. Um, let's see, we can give it a width of uh, perhaps 100 and a height of 250. Let's see how that turns out. Perhaps a bit wider. I'm going to give it 200 and set that one to 300. And I'm going to leave it at that. So here we have our card. Now it's a nice card, but as you see, uh, we're not able to drag it around, which is the whole purpose of this tutorial. So let's see how we would go about enabling the functionality so that we can drag it around and place it in random places. So let's create a variable up here, and I'm going to call this one um, a state variable var, and I'm going to name it offset is equal to dot zero, and I'm just going to specify the type here, which is going to be a uh, CG size, like that, and capital S, else uh, this won't work, just like that. So here we have our offset variable. Now what is the offset? Uh, it's basically the difference between where we are now and how much we want to move it from that central location. So we're going to set that offset as the current location or as the offset of the card. So let's set offset is equal to offset. So now we can go ahead and add our gesture. And this one is going to be a drag gesture. So let's type that in. Let's create some space here. And here to this drag gesture, we can actually add some modifiers. So let's do that by saying dot on change, uh, which is an action that is called each time the value changes. So each time we drag it around and the value changes, we want to update the position of the card. So the action is going to be, let's see, drag gesture value. We can simply type in value here. And then we can set the offset equal to the uh, value dot translation should be an option here and as you can see translation is simply um, the total translation from the start of the drag gesture to the current event of the drag gesture so basically the difference between where it started and where it is now and we will set that to be the offset so here we have the unchanged and we're also going to use another one or actually we can try to drag it around so here you can see we can drag it around and place it in random locations. So that is actually, a, actually we already have the functionality that we were looking for. But let's go one step further and just look at some funky stuff that we can do in case that isn't enough. So you can also use the one that's called uh, unended, which means what's the action you want to perform when the drag gesture is ended. Again here, we can access some values. So we can set the offset equal to dot zero is one possibility which means we can drag it somewhere and then when we release it it will go back to where it was so we can do it like this and then 
it goes back to zero. Now this looks nice, but uh, we can take it one step further and we can add some animation here so that we get a nice fade in and fade out with animation like that. And then we can add the offset is equal to zero in here. And then we should get like a spring type of animation. So let's try it out. I'm going to drag it and then release it and it nicely goes back into place. So that's the drag gesture for you. Now, as you see here, we have a value here as well. So instead of setting it to zero, we could actually set it to value.translation, which simply means that it will stay where we release it. So we, we can drag it and simply release it where we want to, like that. Or we can drag it out of the screen and, or perhaps I can't, Anyway, that's it for uh, this little drag gesture tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As you can see, there are lots of fancy things you can do with this and you can make your apps more interactive. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on drag gesture. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you click the like and the subscribe button and then I will see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care.